Well, speaking at the conclusion of his weekly talk, Pope Francis asked everyone to be close in their thoughts and prayers to the noble and martyred people of Ukraine. To show his closeness to the country, last week the Pope sent to Ukraine for the fourth time Cardinal Konrad Krajewski, head of the Office for the Service of Charity. While in the Zaporizhia region, the Cardinal was shot at while delivering humanitarian aid. Despite the situation, the Cardinal continued his mission. Joining us now from Ukraine is Tatiana Stavnichi, president of Caritas Ukraine. Tatiana, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate thank it. For having um, me. Can you tell us about the current situation after seven months of war? And also, how is Caritas operating in the territory? Mm -hmm. Yes, so um, we have really been layering our programs to respond uh, to the needs in different regions. Uh, you might remember we have a very strong network because we use the uh, parish network in Ukraine uh, as part of our humanitarian response. Um, so we have a network throughout the country. Uh, there is right now probably the most intensive preparation is going uh, for preparation for winter. So different kinds of efforts that will um, make sure that people have both shelter and warmth. Uh, for winter. We're, of course, continuing um, the regular humanitarian aid and the stabilization. And at the same time, we're working on this winterization uh, approach where we are both increasing the number of shelters that we have. So we're anticipating uh, additional numbers of displaced people coming through um, our shelters. So we've increased those from 129 to 181 shelters throughout the country. Uh, we also are working on fixing uh, light repairs of houses that have been damaged uh, due to the, the shelling in areas that have been liberated, that are deoccupied. And uh, we're working on, um, it's mostly in areas north of Kyiv, but also around in the Mykolaiv, Odessa region as well. Yeah, another thing I want to touch on, um, as you know, the Pope recently sent Cardinal Kryavsky to Ukraine, and as we reported, uh, he was shot at while handing out aid there. Uh, that said, Tatiana, can you talk to us about a little bit more about what it's like in certain territories and how dangerous it still is? Uh, so um, it's obviously very dangerous in areas that are close to the front line uh, because those are easy access. They can be accessed by uh, weapons and shelling. Um, from across the contact line, from across the front line. Uh, there is a general danger in throughout the whole country with missile strikes that continues, uh, although recently they've been a little bit more focused in the eastern part of the country, but that danger exists throughout uh, the region. So, of course, it is uh, dangerous. Uh, you know, there's danger everywhere. You know, there's regular air raid sirens uh, going off in uh, you need to uh, analyze your risks and, and take shelter uh, when it's needed. And Tatiana, before I let you go, um, what else would you like people to know about what's happening in Ukraine right now and the particular needs of the Ukrainian people? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's important for people to know that the, num the needs and the number of people who, um, who are in need uh, has not lessened, but it has grown. Uh, the UN has upped the numbers of their estimate of people in need in Ukraine to 7.7 .7 million. That's uh, not quite half the population. Uh, so the needs are still great. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done uh, through the winter period, especially. And, um, and it's also important, I think, for um, for people in Ukraine to, to know that there is solidarity, um, that there are still prayers coming our way, and that there is a solidarity in spirit with us. Well, Tatiana, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you for what you do. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you.